Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Pathologic 2 on the PS4 Pro. Alright, so, uh, last episode we got a good heaping dose of the difficulty of the game. Uh, because we did, that was, I think, all scripted, by the way. Uh, when that happens, I think that's, you just gotta get up to the house. Uh, without trying to, probably trying to avoid fights. So I don't think we should have engaged in any of those fights. I think it would have been best to probably sprint by everybody. Mm -hmm. And then if they did catch us, then to do what we ended up doing towards the end there, just like sprinting away, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, I'm interested to see where the game's going to go. I want to see this place, you know, I would like to see the progression of uh, it falling apart and turn it into what we saw uh, in the first episode. Where it's dark mm -hmm. and dang. Someone just throw some monies away. Mm hmm I don't know who just throws money away. But we could talk to all these people, but again, we do... There's a time limit here, guys. We stop and talk to every single person. I feel like we won't get anywhere. Uh, now, given some of them might have food and stuff to give us, though. Quests and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, and you can kind of see when you hover over here. I thought we could see their bones. <laughs> we can probably talk to that kid there. Let's go ahead and uh, fill up our... Our water here and get a couple drinks. Alright, and then we'll have a chit chat with the kid. Or we'll trade with him, see what he's got. He's got immunity boosters. Uh, assorted pills of unknown origin boost mini. Smells suspicious. Suspicious indeed. Mm -hmm. He's willing to trade for the charm. And if we wanted eyeliner. To, if we wanted to get that. Uh, he would like the match. He does have a lot of eyeliner, you're right. Uh, so yeah, we can give him the matches. Can't light an oil lamp without without one. Okay, so you wouldn't be able to light our lamps. Probably should keep the matches until we have at least a little bit more. Uh, I don't know. Are going to go for a smoky eye as well? I don't know if we need to get this right now. I know that that seems like something that would be pretty useful to have. Uh, but yeah, I don't know that we want to trade for that right now when we have like so many other shortages, like food and stuff. Uh, so I think we should trade for food before we go trading because like, we're already hungry. And we ain't got... Any other food to eat. A creepy little girl. She's got smoked fish. Oh, and morphine. <laughs> <laughs> She's just carrying morphine. Uh, so we could always try and trade for her fish. We can go ahead and use the charm. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and then she'll only take a match. Uh, so I think we'll be short just one. I guess we'll have to give her one match to make this trade. Would right, you trust so that, that face with a match? She's gonna burn. <laughs> she's the gonna city burn. Down. She's gonna burn somebody's house Although, down. Although I guess if it's burnt down, then it's not our problem anymore. Exactly. Uh, so as you guys can see, we did need to trade for that fish because our hunger is really bad. You're gonna hear from an angry parent. <laughs> you gave my daughter a match, and you took her lunch. Your kid was dealing fish. morphine. And she's like, well, how else is she going to make a living? <laughs> did we leave these two trash cans or did I just run by them? I think we did just run by them. Oh, nice. A, uh, bull, a bull bell. bell. That looks like something good for trade. But yeah, from that video that I watched about uh, you know the tips for the games, uh, one thing they did mention is the fact that like everything can be traded the most. Uh, like everybody has, you know... So put some value on certain things. Uh, so you just got to find the type of people who want those objects and then trade for them. Yeah, there's a loading screen that said that as well. It's like one man's trash is another's treasure. Uh-huh. And that, uh, it's the more reliable way to get stuff is through the... Bartering. The bartering, yeah. All over ammo because he wants chalk and the bell. But yeah, the uh, the stores, while they have good stuff for you and you might have money available, everything gets more expensive as the uh, crisis gets worse. Uh, so you can find yourself in a situation where like you're paying just insane amounts of of yeah. money. Those guys look fight. like they want to fight me. Just avoid them. Oh, they're picking on somebody. You don't want to be a hero. It is getting dark. <laughs> we are going to see the boss man. I'm going to see what's what's going on over here. We got him first. Oh, it's a vigilante. Who is he? Don't you see Brock the turncoat? Isidore's son himself. Have you lost your mind? No. He has nothing to do with this. Mm. Take a good look at me. Mm -mm, don't say that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, <Jesus>. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. They're fucking me up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and now we're unwelcome. Oh, no. And we got our ass kicked. <laughs> I shouldn't have cut him, man. 
You shouldn't have said that you were Isidore's son. <laughs> all right, so we got beat up and left by the playground. <laughs> mm, did they take all of our goodies? I don't know. I guess we'll take a look. It doesn't look like they took anything from us. Well, they just gave us a walloping. Yeah, but now we're all hungry and hurt and just... Oh, they're still chasing us? Are you fucking serious? Wow. What the fuck, man? Really? <laughs> you yeah. just can't get out of this once they're beating on you. Not till you're dead. And we got no stamina. The building we gotta run into. Oh, fuck. Yeah, this is bad, guys. <laughs> wow. I wish I had saved it. So we could just load it back up, you know what I mean? Yeah, because that was not smart. I shouldn't have said that. I knew I shouldn't have got involved in that. But man, I didn't expect them to keep chasing us down until... Yeah, we're going to see a thug. Huh. All right, let's just take a look here and see uh, where we're at now. All right, so I mean, we're really close. Yeah, let's just Yeah, they just keep on chasing us. There. All right, yeah, they just keep on chasing us down. I just hate that you can't fight back. Like, yeah. you can't defend yourselves. Like, really? Is that the building? I don't know, maybe. Yeah, that's the building. We need a door. Oh, oh that's locked. God. Damn it. That's probably the, that? we probably got to go through the front door, Jinx. All right, so let's go around this way here. Oh yeah, I hate that like they can attack you relentlessly and like, there's nothing you can do about it and we're trapped. Oh no. Of course. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we can't <laughs> jump. I don't know if they're still chasing us. Perhaps not. If they are, they're a bit slower about uh -huh. it. Maybe they gave up. Can we go through this door? We could knock. Like, hello? Alright, so maybe they give up. I don't think so. Alright, so probably shouldn't have said that, guys. But I didn't think they would all just Creeping jump me like that. They were jumping the last guy. <laughs> well, they were just holding <laughs> up against the wall. Oh, okay. So we'll get into our sneak mode here this time. Sneaky, sneaky. Let's go and first get our stamina back up. Although it looks like it's our thirst that we're having problems with. Alright, so there's the guys. I assume the door is. Well, maybe that's be not so... him, actually. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe if we. Put or they our... could have given up on it on us too. Yeah, true. It's bedtime. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for another water thing. Let me find it since we're all thirsty now. We found a spring. Don't we have a lot of bottled water? Oh yeah, true. We could just drink that. Uh, she's got a chicken egg. We could buy. Probably should buy that. Uh, it'd be five. Uh, and then we can give some. Oh, well, we can give the bull. The bull bell. Uh, so that puts us at a plus one here. Uh, is there anything that we can like? No. 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 We're just gonna lose one, I think. Now you do increase opinion, I think, with people if you you give them like better deals or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can see that our uh, opinion with the gut is going up because we gave a good deal. Uh, so let's go to eat this. We just cannot uh, keep our hunger going, man. We keep it down. Uh, so is this the door that we need to go in? Looks right. All right. All right, we're going to cut that, guys, because it actually was a little a little long loading screen going into this well, it's into a this building, man. Building. Yeah, and they had to load up those pictures. It's clean. Mm-hmm. It's nice here. Shiny. We can save it here. I wonder if we can sleep on that couch right there. They could be saying anything about it. <laughs> so, I'm like sure a fucking they'd hobo. Come wake us up. Coming in and sleeping. Yeah, you can sleep on, on stuff here, guys. Oh, we're so tired. Alright, well, let's go ahead and do the. Whatever the quest is here. Talk to this guy in his nice ass coat. Let's see if there's anything else here that we can loot. No. I'm just gonna steal from him right in front of his face. That familiar old face. You know, I remember when your esteemed. what your esteemed father looked like when he was young. I am, after all, only 15 years younger. He was a very decent no. person. He had a real spine. I won't believe in the killer. Okay. Made of clay. He sure started his uh, dialogue late. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honored. Welcome home, my dear boy. Welcome home. The reception was rather lukewarm, though, wasn't it? It was. I'm getting reports you're a villain, my boy. A murderous villain. My people are upset that they couldn't do you in. They're an ugly mob, aren't they? So small-minded. Animals. Beasts. Swine. At least you slipped away. Perhaps I should stand up for you? Uh, that would be useful, can you really? 
My power is immense, boy. Have you forgotten? Everything you see here is mine. The whole bull enterprise. The abattoir, the factory, the warehouses, the station. This town's veins are my reins. It's meat and bones my throne. I am the master, and I expect to be obeyed. Uh, I haven't forgotten, Booze, believe me. And I'm not the one, only one who remembers. Alright, so... You don't own me. We could do that. This seems like it's causing yeah, further problems for ourselves. Let's not. This guy runs the town. We're just a lowly surgeon. Uh, we already know everybody obeys him because he said it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody lies. Uh, so we'll say this here. At least take my advice. I'm always eager to help Isidore's son. Stay here a while. Don't go out. My house is big. Plenty of space. If you need anything, just call the servants. Thanks. I'll consider it. Alright, so yeah, maybe we'll stay here as in, like, let's take a, a little bit of a, a I mean, rest here. I it's not here. that big. Because, <laughs> yeah, we are exhausted already. So let's go ahead and, and sleep for, I'm thinking, like, five hours should be enough to get... Oh, we don't even actually need to... I read that wrong. I was looking at the wrong meter there. Alright, so our exhaustion's actually good now. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and save it again. We didn't dream. We didn't dream. Probably didn't sleep long enough. We'd have had nightmares about getting beat up. Probably. I bet our face is all black and blue. I got my fist still out. Let's put those away. <laughs> Just looking for a fight. You're a very defensive guy. I mean, I bet our face is all beat the hell up right now. Ooh, honey. That's is a that lot stealing? Of money. I don't know if that's stealing, but it's mine <laughs> now. <laughs> it didn't say they would know. It does it say that, though. I know I it says know. that for the body with the looting and stuff, but I don't know. All right, let's go and go back out uh, and see uh, if we can find a store, maybe. I think we need to hit a store up uh, to, to perhaps solve this food problem. It seems like we're always having food issues. Uh, so I don't know if they're still going to be open at this time, but we'll take a look. There's the pharmacy. Uh, there's the closed door. Where's the closest grocer? Uh, and, of course, we have uh, this store right down here, which, again, I kind of feel like it's going to be more expensive than other stores. Right, or the same price. Maybe, from my knowledge, though, all of you know of that video I watched is that different stores price things differently. Mm -hmm. uh, so it does make sense to go to certain places, certain stores, and not go to others, or buy certain things from certain stores. All right, so let's satisfy our thirst. And then, yeah, we'll go ahead and head up to this store up here real quick and just kind of see how things look. Maybe we need fancy new clothes. I, I imagine having better clothes would make us like more durable in a fight, perhaps. Or less recognizable in the streets. Maybe. Although, I mean, they're not attacking us. I mean, we only got attacked that last time because I said what I said. <laughs> and I'm, I wasn't uh, minding mom of business either. I saw somebody put up against a wall, and I probably should have just... I'm gonna be a hero. Let it be, yep. Yeah. Alright. And remember, we do have everyone back to no one cares about you, so... That's a good feeling. What, no one caring about you? I don't... Is, is that a good feeling? That's a terrible feeling, Jinx. I don't know. <laughs> Nobody giving like a shit about you. I like being invisible. It so can be it's... annoying when you've met someone multiple times, uh -huh. though, and they don't remember Don't know your name. <laughs> and that's me, guys. I'll meet you and not remember your name. It's not because I don't like you, because you're not, you know, somebody I would remember. It's nothing against you. It's... Just got a terrible memory, guys. He's not good at remembering people. Mm -hmm. I just, yeah, I don't put a lot of, I don't know, maybe I don't put enough value on remembering people's names. Like, people would tell me their name, and if I was better at this, I would, like, grab it right then and be like, okay, this is Rick. Mm -hmm. I remember this is Rick, but I don't. Like, I hear it, and then I just don't, like, put it into a safe spot. And then I, before I know it, I've forgotten it. I usually for, have forgotten your name before the end of the conversation. <laughs> it, just, it just happens. I don't want to, and then I feel bad, because I'm like, oh, damn it. I don't know this person's name. Meat. Oh, yeah. Let's get that meat. God, it's so expensive, though. It is really expensive. But yeah, I don't really feel like... Ridiculous. Yeah, I feel like that's what we're going to have to do. Coffee. Ooh, coffee. <laughs> Energized you, but it's very unhealthy. Can be munched the down. kids here would sell their souls for a handful of peanuts. <laughs> so it feels like getting things like the peanuts and raisins are really good for like bartering, bartering with, the, with the children. Yep. All right, let's go and get the fresh meat as well. And see if there is anything else we might want to. The toast seems like really overpriced to me, but mm -hmm. I guess we'll get it. 
And then we can go ahead and sell some stuff. If any of this is worth anything, it doesn't look like anything's worth, like, yeah, I don't think it's worth enough to, to warrant selling it. A spring? Uh, I, I think we would, well, I'm saying it's not, it's not worth enough to sell it. Oh. So we could probably get more in the barter system, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know if that wasn't clear. Well, springs are fun to play with. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and eat this big slab of meat. We ain't got to cook it or nothing. Who needs to cook it? And that should satisfy, yeah, all of our hunger. Yeah, we're nice. doing very well now. And we still got a piece of toast for a snack. A little bit later. So if you see a water thing uh, as we run, let me know. We'll take a sip. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and start moving towards the next objective, which is the warehouse. We gotta move our way to the, make our way to the warehouse here where we'll, uh, well, we can go ahead and do the shady shop and just kind of take a look and see what they got to offer there. We don't have any money now, though. Uh, and then we could do the uh, local urchins quest. We could stand in for a trial. Well, they had a couple different requests, remember? They also mm -hmm. had some sick people, too. Said they had, like, three sick people down there. Let's go get a drink here, get that stamina back up. All right. So I'm, I'm not sure how I should balance between the sprinting and the, the walking. Obviously, it probably makes the most sense to just walk everywhere. Yeah, like if you were just playing the game on your own, uh -huh. you'd want to conserve your energy. But yeah, and you'd want to... Good God, he's so slow. Yeah, he's really slow. And I always hate having, like, uh, videos where we spent the whole time walking. And you're unwelcome here. Ooh. I wonder if that means they'll attack us. Or you're not hated. Maybe they'll just stink at you. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it'll just be that where they just look at you. Or they don't want to trade they with you. They don't want you here. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Uh, maybe not that guy. But if we walk into anybody else, uh, we could take a look and see if they're willing to... Uh, oh. Is that the guy we saved? Maybe he'll be thankful. Yep. You're a brave soul, as befits Isidore's son, of course. It takes courage to claim your name today. I would never renounce my father. I have nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah, that's what I'll say. You're a true hero, not because you defended me, but because you don't fear the truth. You can be trusted. Still, I'd like to dress your wound. If only I had a bandage. That's all right. I'll live. Although, you know, workers sometimes carry bandages and tourniquets around. Lots of injuries at the cannery. Talk to people. Perhaps you can trade for some. Uh, do lie down. I'll get something for you and come back. So, maybe we'll talk to the, that guy walking around. Did we just become best friends? Are we best friends, though? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trust is too low uh, to get these guys to trade with us here. So we won't be able to trade anywhere in this place. We could talk to him. But like, I'm not a bad guy. Or that would get us beat up. Who knows? Oh. The day is over. Some opportunities have been irreversibly missed. But sleep is not the only option. Certain events will unfold at night. A new pantomime is being rehearsed at the theater. Death toll over the last 24 hours, seven people gone missing, three people. Mm. Okay, so that is our first day knocked out, guys. We're in day two, a little past midnight. And we can examine this. We can't do anything. We have 12 days. Not so many, but enough. One more day has passed. The town shifts. Something stirs in the theater. Something stirs within you. Okay, then. Confusion. Uh-huh. So there's the uh, the theater. Every night, an odd performance is held in the theater. So if we want to be able to see it, we'd actually have to go now. Ooh, let's go. This is nighttime. Uh, and then we have, I can drink Two Father's Memory and the Broken Heart. Ooh. <laughs> let's go there. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> You want to see a play, Jinx, or you want to get smashed? I want to get smashed while seeing a play. Yeah, or get smashed and then see the play. Yeah, there's that. Then the play will be over. Yeah, and the play is quick. It's closer and we'll to. We'll go stumbling and to the theater all drunk, mm -hmm. and everyone will be upset. With and everybody us. will judge us. Like, oh, look at these people. I don't know if we can get there from here. They do have like walls and stuff that close Everywhere. off all the different areas. You're not allowed to go anywhere. Yeah, I don't know if we can actually go up there. There might be a clear path on the There's map some here. Stairs to the right. To the right? Yeah, if you follow along that path, there's oh, like some stairs. Oh, I see stairs. it. You're right. Let me see if there's any way up along here. There's not. All right, so maybe we'll see if we can go up these stairs that Jinx noticed. 
But yeah, I really want to go. Oh, there's stairs that go to nowhere. Oh, is that our lava? <laughs> she looks like her, but I don't want to She's approach like her as if I know for sure it is her. True. That's embarrassing. Uh huh. Because they like, look exactly on, the same. Uh, so I'm going. Kiss. Oh, how far higher up does it go? Forever. I got distracted, guys. <laughs> is, is there really nothing up here? Did I walk all it's the way up here for nothing? View, though. It is a nice view. I guess we could see if we could see the stairs from here. I the bet there is semen all over the place up there. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's why she hangs out right here. This is where people go to fuck. So you can't fall off to your death? Break some legs? I don't think so. Oh, no, you can. Oh. Yeah. We almost died because I tried that. <laughs> wow, I didn't expect it to be that damaging. I just wanted oh, to test geez. to see if there's fall damage. There definitely is fall damage, well, guys. Well, the dude can't jump, so... <laughs> True. I didn't expect it to be that bad, though. Good God, yeah, we are injured, man. So now if we get a bandage, we'll need it for ourselves. Screw Blondie. Hmm. Yeah, we can't get to that location that you saw, Jinx. Mm. Yeah, these houses are blocking us. We gotta go around them. I can have... Oh, what's going on here? I oh. don't what is he doing? Is he bothering you, miss? <laughs> it sure seems like he's trying to force something in her mouth. Uh, so what can we say about and say to this guy? Have you seen much death? Let me talk to her. How far is your kind? <laughs> Someone doesn't treat me like a villain. <laughs> you shouldn't get into fights. You always lose. <laughs> I'd rather lose standing. Think. If they kill you, then it's very bad, right? <laughs> but if you kill them, it's still bad. And if you do, it's damn all if you bad. don't. Uh, clear your name first. If time passes, people will accept you. Then you do as you please. Okay, sounds tempting. Okay. Oh, and she gave us a... A charm. Yeah, which those are really great for trading. All right, so we have to get around this, guys. Seems there's a lot of... Uh, like walls and houses kind of just blocking everything off. You gotta mm -hmm. kind of seems like one of the tricks in the game is figuring out how to get to the place you want to get to. Find a ton of these empty bottles, they're everywhere. And marbles. marbles, I bet those are gonna be worth something to some children. It's kind of a weird thing for a game to make you say. <laughs> <laughs> True, just trying to trade, man, trade for goodies. All right, so I'm trying to figure out how to get... And the kids got drugs. They do. <laughs> <laughs> that they do. And snacks. Drugs and snacks. Mm-hmm. All a person a ever needs. Guy. Oh, and a dead guy. And we can loot him, too, without any problems. He had money on him. A uh, lockpick. Bloody bandage. Hmm, we'll use that. <laughs> and... He was a, a carcass. Of, oh, okay. And our controllers are gone dead. Oh no. Playing too much Hunt and Showdown, Can guys. we use the bandage? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Well, I was gonna try and use it on oh. him. I'll come back if I get a bandage. Oh, apparently he we He doesn't uh, want a bloody bandage. He doesn't want the bloody one. Can we use the bloody one? Because I'm okay with using a bloody bandage. Nope. We can you just can touch, touch it. Touch it. I lick it. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're a doctor. You know, doctors can lick oh, things yeah. and see what kind of a. Uh, kind of blood people have uh so fellow travelers black this is not lot not the last time we chat you're, so a, you're merchant. a merchant uh i dabble in buying and selling but I, I but i have no use for coins though i often find i have two to rub together they collect things uh so what use do you have for that junk uh if, if, if i don't people leave things behind evidence of their passage mess i better take those things to my back okay let's see what you got to barter for man all right, so he has food. Mm. And we get 20 meat for 20, 20 items here. Yeah, and he does want empty bottles, which we got a lot of. Uh, the fingernails, we can sell those as well. He's willing to trade for the bloody bandage. Well, let's trade that then. And uh, the broken ampule. Yeah, we're going to trade for these. Uh, we actually have a lot of these, don't we? All right, well, let's go and trade them all off. And then well, I suppose we can take a look and see what we want from him. He's got a lot of good shit, though. Pocket watch. Uh, so... I was wondering if you could save using the pocket watch. Probably not, though. Yeah, probably not. All right, let's get the meat from him. And uh, we'll just have to trade for... Uh, 
carried away maybe the fission hooks and then a bottle and then a fishing hook oops that's nope. a lot big i don't want to trade that remove there we go all right let's accept did you swindle him no oh i don't think you can swindle him true i think it has to be at least zero so yeah we got a little bit of meat here guys uh, and we won't eat it just yet because our hunger's not doing too bad. I don't know if the food goes bad in this game. I would assume not. But I can't say for sure. I would hope not with this much, as expensive as it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If he had had something to trade for to heal ourselves, we would have, guys. But yeah, he didn't have anything. Uh, we can take a look and see if she's doing any trade. Because now we are in... Ask for repair. Yeah, she repairs stuff. She doesn't have anything to trade. Let's see what she does for, with the repairs. Hmm. Okay, I can't repair anything. What about this guy? He's got toast and morphine. Okay. Uh, he only wants our lockpick. Mm -hmm. He's a sneak thief. So we're not going to trade him a lockpick. Because we're a sneak thief too, Jinx. We haven't sneak thiefed anybody yet. Not yet. For novices. Yeah. All right, so let's uh, finally, finally found the way in here, guys. <laughs> Took us long enough. Uh, but we are here. And so let me just see exactly where this is at. Okay, so it's gonna be on the left here. I assume we have to go through that little I hope archway we're there. Not late. You don't want to miss any of the show. You don't want to miss the beginning of the previews. <laughs> I know. I know it's not that kind of theater, guys. Although, with the internet, by now you've already seen all the previews mm -hmm. when you go to a movie. Yeah, I remember that used to be like the only time that I'd see like trailers for new movies was, oh, it is so fucking dark. Yeah, but when we went to the movie theaters, but now like I, there's there's never a, a movie trailer when I'm at the theater that I haven't already seen yet. Please welcome the actor, Artemy Burach. Let us examine him. The will is present. Emotions? Sure, there are emotions. Intellect? Well, no one expected a miracle. Not from this specimen. He's no true human, but a larva. Just like all the larvae we've seen here lately. Pardon me, I shouldn't have been so rude. You are, after all, the star of the show. How should I act then? Here's some advice. Actually, the only advice that matters. Try not to die. Ever. Do you understand? Like, never ever. At all. Or it'll turn bad. Not just for you, but for all of us. And why is that? It would wound the world. Irreversibly. And the world, it's not in the best shape as it is. So I'd kindly ask you to do your very best. Work hard. Take care of yourself. Where are the other two? The bachelor and the girl. They're waiting for you to exit the scene. They want to learn about their fates as well. You know the future? What's mine then? Oh, I can't help but pity you. Look, there will be a happy ending. You'll even believe that you've won. No guilty conscience either. So relax, man of fate. Next. Um, what do you mean? Next. That's it. Uh, but basically he was explaining to us uh, one of the gameplay mechanics uh, that if you die, then I think everything gets worse. Mm -hmm. So that you gotta know, really try not to die in the game. I don't know if we can talk to him. I had several paths and liked none. One had me as a beast man, another as a hunchback. The third, as the indentured servant of some outside Oh, do you not friends. have, we'll just get past this here. Uh, we have a ton of step theater costumes in the storeroom, especially those wicked birds. Ones that symbolize death. Uh, so, so, he asks, do, do step people like the play with death? Not really, they just have a different attitude towards it, or there's not a master that's actually one. Okay, we'll say that one. Curious. Let's try and get through here. Uh, actors play out real events while being in the middle of them. The audience doesn't know they're in a play. The actors, that they're being watched, such as my method. Uh, so... Intricate. Sound like a smart thing to say. Uh, the actor must understand how to work death, uh, hence the unusual methods, and you know rough, it's the theater of cruelty. 
Is the outside not cruel enough? So you're here for an audition after after all, aren't you? Say, I'm not an actor, from what I can tell, I'm one of the people your actors will play. I'll say that. And I was saying his name so wrong. <laughs> Bjork. <laughs> Alright, so I guess that's what we came here for. I don't know uh, like, what purpose ew. that has or what use, but yeah, that was... If food wasn't precious, I'd have thrown an apple. We don't even have an apple, Jinx. I we could have thrown some toast <laughs> some at him. meat. Yeah, I'd have thrown some raw meat. That would have been an option as well. So is that the only exit from here? Okay, you can also go across the bridge. But basically, that's probably the best exit is those those stairs. There's also stairs up in the north from what I saw. And more marbles. Okay. So now we'll start heading over to the next location, though. I am... I'm gonna go and get drunk. Oh, the oh. dead item shop is open. What's that? I don't know. Let's check it out. I guess we're going to take a look at that. That's close by. We'll see what it is. Dead item shop. Dead people hmm. stuff. Maybe. It's a little bit bloody. Some fluids on it. Like, we don't care so much about all that. You'd be fine. Look for other trash cans of loot since it's kind of the main way for us to get materials to, to sell. Apparently we have to load this <laughs> trash can. There's something important in there. Is this it right here? Uh, let's just take a look. No. Alright, it looks like it's down a bit more. Down that path right there. Alright, let's go fill up our water. Get some drinks. Uh-huh. And then, uh... Go in here and, uh, man, our health is incredibly low, man. Oh, is that the... That's the dead shop. The guy who we went to, I think. Oh, Yeah, so okay. we've already... We've already been here. Okay. Alright. Nothing exciting, guys. He just likes guys. broken things. All right, so let's go ahead and start making our way down here. Uh, though, how much time do we have? We might want to just uh, save it right there. Oh mm. uh, well, it's gonna be hard to get this uh, the videos and around the time that we want them, since we have that save mechanic. Ooh. Oh, they're fighting. None of our business. Yeah, this time I'm not gonna get He's involved, a guys. Face guy. Mm-hmm. We're not gonna get involved in that. Apparently, no business. one cares about them because they didn't care that we looted their body. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should wait till the guy leaves and then, and then go it. loot the body. And what if he doesn't win now? I'm sure he will. What if they attack us? Then we're we watching. Run. Like security cats. <laughs> Just trying to see. Do you think we can get down there? Is there any way to save down here? I wonder. Um, there might be... There uh, is Ruben's apartment. We could save down there. If we make it alive. True. I just don't want to waste any time since there is so little time True. in the, the game. It's the only have in the 12 days. Let's see if this person's got anything Excuse to trade. Excuse me, oh, madam. Trust is too low in this area. Mm, creepy right. noises. Yeah, I'm hearing some sounds, man. Alright, well, let's try and go this way. Is this leading us into the warehouse district? Okay, this is. All right, and then we can buy the, the stuff. All right, is there a crossing point here? All right, so we actually want to go ahead and cross here. I got to hit the bar up, guys. That's our objective for this. We got to drink to remember our dad. Mm hmm exactly. Because I'm sure we had a wonderful relationship. <laughs> That's why we ran from town as quick as we could. I feel a little bit like the map doesn't make any sense. What do you mean? I don't know. How does the map not make sense? Like the layout isn't isn't right. Like we're being lied to. Maybe not though. You're saying like Like can I pet your cow? <laughs> Buy my bull. Why would I want a bull? Uh brings I luck. Want a bull. We've already got a bull bell. Or did we sell that? Uh I think we sold the bull bell. Ah. Uh, I think you're a swindler. <laughs> Okay, uh, to be honest, I think you're just a swindler. We'll take the curse <laughs> if he pays us. Yeah, if you pay me. Take him for 200. It's a good bull. It'll be useful to you. I don't have a place to keep it, though, man. Okay, so yeah, he wants us to pay him. Damn. Alright, yeah, we'll just 
Tell him to sell the big blob. I mean, you're a nice looking bull, and I wish we could have you. We have the money, but I mean, I don't know what the hell we'd do with the bull. We'd ride it and horn <laughs> people. <laughs> I could, I mean, you could also probably kill it, I suppose, and eat it later. What? Why would you do that to your faithful companion that you just bought? Once you start getting hungry, Jinx, the first thing that goes is the pets. Everybody knows that. We have a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever, like, you have situations where people are starving, uh, like, uh, you know, a siege of a city or something like that in a war, or uh, just whatever situation happens to be, and you'll notice that whenever they come back, the pets are all dead, man. Whenever, she, whenever they open the city back up, everybody's eating all the oh, dogs, the all the gone. cats. There's no stray dogs anymore. No alley cats. Well, you start with the stray dogs, obviously. Mm -hmm. You're not going to just eat Fido. <laughs> just because your tummy's grumbling a little bit. But yeah, once you get hungry enough, Fido's going to die, man. Right, the factory. Welcome to the machine. All right, am I on the wrong side? Yep. Probably. There's the way we're trying to go. we got to get through this fence here. It's just frustrating. So we have to go around. Yeah, they have everything blocked off like this? I feel like it's just to make you walk around more so <laughs> yeah. that you feel like there's more to the game. Maybe. Oh, I'm doing some more walking. This is exciting. But at the same time, like <laughs> if you know, if you walk around a real city, yeah. there is a lot of stuff blocking you. There's a lot of buildings and, and fences blocking you. But of course in a real game in real life you can just hop over those fences. So it's kind of unfortunate this character can't. Right, can't so this is where we're trying things. to go here, guys. Yeah, he has no ability to leap over anything. Because he's a scholarly fella. Mm-hmm. Although he used to be a street urchin, so... Yeah, true. Maybe he's still got a little bit of that in him. Yeah, hanging out in the warehouse district and shit. Looking for crime. Well, I mean, we did just... Crime bosses. I mean, we did just kill three dudes. Oh, there's a save point here. All right, excellent. And, and some nice tunes. music, too. Dude, this is a brothel. Or an underground nightclub. Sweet. Oh, this place is large. Yeah. I right, will keep on going down then. I feel like we should have saved. <laughs> yeah, perhaps I should have saved first. Is this where the children first. are? We're gonna get no, this is it. not where the children are, Jinx. They're in the warehouse. Alright, so we got these two to talk to. And we got her dancing. Oh, and she's currently tearing her dress up. See how her dress isn't as torn up as the others? Yeah, she's got a lot more dancing she's to a, do. She's a rookie. Alright, so we can talk to all these people here. We can try and trade with this guy and see what he's got. And he's got a bunch of stuff we could trade for. He doesn't want any of the stuff that we have. Uh, oh, he wants money, that's what it he's is. like, I don't want your junk. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah, we could uh, buy some of the stuff from him. I'm sure that these two individuals have something to say to us as well. Uh, but yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to go up and save it and go ahead and end the episode here. And uh, next episode, we'll pick up, you know, talking to all these people and seeing, uh, seeing what there's to be done here and probably getting ourselves a stiff drink. Partying. Uh, yep. We'll be dancing with her with our clothes off in no time. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy the episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do read and reply to all comments. Love talking to you guys. I do hope to see you on the next episode. And thanks for watching, guys.